Well, hello everybody and welcome. Got a uh, definitely uh, late to the party video here for you. This is Watch Dogs Legion. Now, when this first released, it was such a buggy mess. I couldn't play it. Very disappointing. I was waiting so long for this game, but I just logged in. I've been checking periodically day to day through Ubisoft uh, Connect and guess what? Update 2.20 just released and it addressed a lot of PC problems that I was experiencing, especially with uh, DirectX 12, uh, ray tracing, and most importantly, it wasn't on the notes, but the number one bug I was experiencing, it was about every five to 10 seconds, the audio would cut out. The game ran smooth for me, but just for some reason the audio would cut out and it was very, very annoying. I just refused to play it, but I knew sooner or later they would finally get a patch to come out. So 2.20 just released. Um, I just uh, tested it out and it seems to have fixed the problem for me. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to show the first mission here for you, kind of the prologue, if you will. And then what I'm going to do is complete the game and try to upload the entire game in one video or maybe in two videos. Uh, I can do about 10 hours in 4K before YouTube, um, the video is too large to upload. Anyways, that's a new format for my channel. I don't like posting a game over an entire month trying to do it, you know, in part one, part two, part three, etc. I'm doing this so I can upload more games and more content to my channel. So do expect to see that from now on. I will have less content, but it will be more quality content. So anyways, guys, this is the first mission. Let's get into it. Ah, London. What a town. History around every corner and a tourist photographing it. Pubs serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theatre and art. And multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up. And one night to tear it all down. Alright guys, I have these settings cranked all the way up, including on ray tracing. Everything's on Ultra. Uh, DLSS is set to quality, so this is uh, the best that I could get out of this game. What's our status? Perimeter security's down. But plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bailey? If you haven't rushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. I have a feeling I'm going to really like Bagley throughout this game. Now, I have played this uh, beginning part before, so I'll probably kind of run through it kind of quick. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? Oh, it's so nice not having that audio bug. I actually tried playing it a few days ago, and uh, it still is there, but this new update seems to have fixed it. Very exciting. For him to move. And there we go. The uh, ray tracing and everything. Oh, looks absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. The lighting, everything. Proud to be resisting. 
They've got loads of dead set gear down here. Now, why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black, anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Oh, fuck me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, now we can analyze this. Badly is that? RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Bagley, is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. Dead-sec propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the center of government. I like that transition right there. That's pretty sweet. All right, I am going to have uh, some enemies come in here and ambush me, so arm a couple traps for them. There we go. Found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, Wait. I might know a workaround. We trained in manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you. So, fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. Shit's about to get real. Fuck. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Tell me you're close. I'm through security. Now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. Bagley, update. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti tamper security is. Still working. Oh. I'm putting a stop to this. What is that? Shit, I need help.
And we're good. Problem, Dalton. I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... Bombs defused. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Ugly, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the tone conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Alright, let's boogie. Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. A protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, opt, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. <laughs> okay, Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, this goes. He won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. It's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Oh my god. Rip to Dalton. A series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused on the at Dowling Street where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. 
Cass has vowed to hunt down Deadset. Terrorist group responses by a force. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of Deadsec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Some corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. It's a long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking, and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden and Brixton. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the deployment. Big news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated. Possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group Deadset were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, obviously, from the start, we should have read up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined this is up and cool. shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than dead sick ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I'll have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, DedSec showed their true colors. It's terrifying to think we harbored such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sake more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible? is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope. All right, this is where I choose my player. Kind of like this dude. Runs hacker forum on dark, dark, uh, dark web. Fast hacking. Short hack cooldowns. Why not? Sounds good to me. <sighs> he seems excited.
glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine. So we got auto drive. Auto drive now enabled. Show controls. Let's see here. Where am I going? We gotta set our waypoint. Voila. All right, let's just take over and see how I drive. Got to get used to driving on the other side of the road. Got to get used to the controls. Not doing too bad. Too shabby, and there's our destination. And how do I get out? Hold it, triangle. The Earl's Fortune. I downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Smart move having redundant systems like that. Can't trust anyone, right? Is that unlocked yet? No. That's open. There we go. One of Sabine's, are you? I'll see you downstairs later then. Ooh. Due to physical violence, shit face Mondays have been cancelled. Alright. <laughs> this is what you wanted, mate. Get to it. Alright, we made it. Well, I have to say, game is running very, very smooth. Very happy. Ooh, and I haven't even made it this far before. What's this over here? Looks like a pair of headphones. Sabine! Right, where's the fucking light switch? Audio file. Or challenge completed. Be like our headquarters, I think. What's this? Floppy disk. New Skies was a game released by the London-based Britplay Software in 1989, a first-person arcade adventure. It tells the story of a soldier taking part in the human invasion of Mars. The player is tasked with crushing a resistance movement by destroying secret alien weapon caches, propaganda materials, and Martian commanders. It was a dismal failure. Britplay Software was liquidated, and its CEO began a new career in government intelligence, where he found his ideas were much better received. Coming up in today's episode of the upload, with that's going to be Look what I found. some audio file. So it looks like these are going to be collect collectibles in the open world. Coming up today on the upload, we're talking about. I'm just going to collect them for uh, I don't know. Maybe we get some points for it or something. Ooh, can I access that stuff? Looks like it's turned off. <clears throat> What's that? Can't do anything with that. Here's another audio file. Alright, looks like it wants me to access this computer. There we go, now we're getting some power. No dead sec registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. <laughs> whoa, whoa, it's all right. I'm supposed to be here. Uh, 
authorization code Sabine sent me. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. <laughs> right there. There's a mask or something up there. Ooh, another audio file. Hello and welcome. And let's check out this mask. Ooh. it. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Sounds like a proper conspiracy, Bagley. Who was really behind the bombings then? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Fuck, that's mental. You were lucky to get out alive. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition here would have you hunted down and shot on sight. <sighs> yeah. About that. I'm guessing that if I join up, that kind of attention extends to me, right? Christ, Sabine, it's fucking risky. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? I'll say, Amir. Say what the hell. Let's get to it. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. All right. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit. All right, tech upgrades. Tech points can be found throughout London. Use them to purchase tech upgrades. Gadgets and weapons, purchase tech in the tech menu to obtain and upgrade gadgets, weapons, and hacks. To, to change an operative's weapon or gadget, use the edit function in the team menu. Purchase tech is available to all operatives. That's right, I hold down to access all of this stuff. So, boom, there's my mission. My data, team, and here's my tech. Now, I did read some uh, tips and stuff on YouTube, and they say definitely get the spider bot. All right, we got the spider bot. And team, let's edit. So I got that weapon and my gadget. Boom. Nice. I wonder if we can get, like, skins and stuff for it. All right, we're good. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's the shop. What do I have for wardrobe? All right, so mask. 
That's the one I just picked up. Looks kind of janky. That's, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. I tell you, I just like this one. Let's take that one. Not a big fan of any of that stuff. Default looks fine. I like that. Oh, whoops. He took it off. That was the innerware default. There we go. And shoes. Those are pretty nice. And handware. I like the gloves. And glasses. Don't like the glasses. Hats. Do not like the hat. Earring. God, no. I want a bag. Can I purchase a bag? So what do I have here? I have 375. I do not have enough money. So we will leave it at that. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. Start melee training. Yes! Nice one! Yes! Beating up a nice chick one. to start? Alright. <laughs> Alright, square is attack. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Yes! Nice one! You're getting it! Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Just like that. You're getting it. Nice. Kicked her ass. I think I've learned melee. these people oh that's right these guys come I um I didn't buy this game I just have the Ubisoft Connect monthly membership and this is part of the ultimate pack I think or whatever it came with all of them so pretty sweet I want to double check if I can buy that bag I noticed I got some money uh, from Doing that melee training. Still not. Nope. Right. Gear in order. No enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early. Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the leg work. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of. Beautiful out here. Okay, restart DedSec is my mission. Can I show on the map? No. It's been months since the tragic attacks in London. 
is a chain city. Dead sects seem to disappear overnight, and opinions on the resistance group are divided. But it appears one dead set member survived and is hoping to restart the movement, answer Sabine's call, and find the safe house. I just did that. Well, let's go to the map. Did I miss something? So, which evil cabal are we taking on first? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. You mean Albion? Yeah, they definitely got that fascist thing going for them. Convince the people they're some kind of saviors, right? So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? Sabine, we're gonna wake up this city. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. There we go. Dead Sec chapter started. Squad goals. Mission started. Light a spark. Very cool. Guys, uh, that's pretty much the prologue, kind of the opening mission. So I'm going to end the video there. As I said in the beginning, um, I'm going to start uploading much, uh, if I can, the entire game in one video. This game being longer than 10 hours. Um, first, I'm going to beat it, and then I'll divide it up evenly, probably in like two or three videos. But anyways, so happy I can finally play this game. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we will end it there, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.